Okay, chat. Uh, we are going to do the coaching on stream. We need the TikTok content. Um, all right. So um, I haven't spoken to you in a while or like, uh, let me pull up your OPGG and kind of see where you're at. Were you, you were the one playing Jax, I thought. Yes, yes. I was spamming the shit out of him. Um, okay. And still have been playing some. Um, I wanted to use the preseason to add like a, a second champ to my pool. Okay, yeah. And it was supposed to be a tank meta. That hasn't really shaped out, but uh, Camille seemed like a good choice for that. Okay. Uh, so I started spamming her. Okay. And uh, so I've just been, been practicing that. Um, don't feel like I'm doing great, but I also don't really know what I'm doing. So. Yeah, that's normal. Camille's not an easy champ to just like pick up. She's actually yeah. pretty difficult. Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's just a bunch of small stuff. Uh, well, there's a lot to it. We'll, we'll go over all of it. So like, that's what we, that's what you want to do today? Uh, you want me to just basically run you through Camille? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I've got some... Um, uh, whatever you think is best. Um, I have some games I recorded I threw up on YouTube. Okay. Um, and then I've got one I just played. Um, I didn't have the time to upload it but uh i did feel like it was a bit of a rougher laning phase um so maybe we could look at that one too if you want sure. um, um whatever however you want to do this what, what's the uh, ign uh so let me let me copy this and put it in the discord okay there you oh yeah there you go okay cool let's see gold two. Oh shit Winning all your games right now. Um, you know, dude, it's so streaky. And then preseason game quality is uh, dog interesting. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so what's what's the one that you said you didn't record, but like... Yeah. Okay, so that was the last one I played. Um, so it was the 11.58. Rashad. Um, yeah. And the laning phase was just, you know, me kind of trying to survive. And I think this is one of the, the first shins I've faced. So I was kind of trying to figure out the matchup, too. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, let's think. So you said you recorded some on YouTube as well. What matchups were those and, like, what? why did you record them? Were they also, like, laning phases you struggled with or? Uh, so, no, these actually, um, I have one versus a trend. Let me go back to, to see what all I've got uploaded. Okay, so I've got one versus a Renekton. Um, that went okay, uh, but his, his duo jungle kind of, uh, you know, was helping him out. Um, and the reason I recorded them was just they were the ones that um, seemed like I could get some value out of. Like, I didn't make mistakes that... I look back, like, I would watch the replay and go, oh yeah, that was just fucking stupid right there. Like, okay. nothing really to learn from that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they mostly ended up being ones where I did well in the laning phase and then the game just kind of, yeah, they were kind of the impossible games. Um, okay. but I, I, I just kind of went into the mid game with no clue whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, no, that's what normal. Yeah. For Camille, for uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've got, what do I got? I got versus Maokai, versus GP, versus Trindamir, and versus Renekton are the four I got uploaded. Okay, so let's let's go, um, which out of all the games here, uh, even the ones that maybe you didn't record, like in your match history, which one did you struggle the most in lane? We'll go over that first, and then we'll go over one where like the mid game stuff. Okay, let me look at my match history. I think, you know, we can probably start with uh, the most recent one I played. Vershen? Um, yeah, because that was, you know, there were the laning phase was a little rocky. Okay, yeah, sure. I am sharing screen. Can you see it? Uh, yep, yeah. All right. Um, make sure. Okay, yeah, they can see. It. Okay. So, let's talk a bit about Camille. <clears throat> so, Camille is a pretty crazy champ. Her, literally, her main downside is that she doesn't have like any sort of wave clear early and uh it's like i wouldn't say she's weak early but she can't 
it's very hard for her to like roam and make plays without losing CS because she can't she can't really shove that well or that quickly. Um, when she's trying to push a side lane, it takes her longer. And but with Hydra, once you get like your first, uh, so this season it's it's the Ravenous Hydra. Before they would go, I think Tiamat into Titanic. I can't remember now. But either way, once you actually get some wave clear from Hydra, then she starts to, like accelerate. And then once she gets to, like two three items, that's when she's like really strong. Um, okay. <clears throat> Minions have spawned. Now, laning with her. Can be a bit tricky. I'll see. We'll just see kind of what you do, and then I'll just. Okay. Get grasp started. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so let's talk about this for a sec. First things first. Uh, even. So when you have grasp. You want to be making sure you're proccing this. Like, if you're ever in melee range, you need to proc it. Uh, because th it, then it resets and it can start ticking again. And the more you get, you know, not only the more more damage, but you even get bonus HP. So, like, you walk up here to proc Rasp. So, like, yeah, he's going to win this because he has a shield on, right? Mm -hmm. But you're... But I should have just gotten Grasp anyways. Right, because the problem here is you used your W on his shield. Which is a massive waste of mana. You can't really mm. afford to just waste your mana like that when, because he's a he's an energy champ, right? He doesn't have to worry mm. about mana, so you actually do. And especially, you're probably not going corrupting pot. Yeah, you don't have corrupting pot, so you need to make sure you're proccing the grasp, and then you either wait for the shield to fall off. If like, let's say you can't proc grasp, but uh, and we can like take that part out. Either way, you're not gonna want to W the shield. You're gonna wait for the shield to fall off and then W him. Okay. Um, because <clears throat> yeah, then he just does that. Okay, and then uh, should I have traded another auto since I have my shield up? Yeah, that was gonna be the next thing I I talk about. So, Camille's passive shield is like a, probably one of the most impor important parts about her her laning because it's like what can like it, it's it basically just guarantees you win a trade with it. Yeah. Um. It's stupid. Yeah. So. That's another reason why, like, autoing here would have been perfect. Um, mm. <clears throat> but even if not autoing there and you autoed here, not only do you have your shield, but look at, like, where... Do you know how Shen oh. works? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Shen, like, he didn't pull his sword through you or anything right here, and he's fighting you in your wave, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And even if he queues again, it's not going to go through me because of where it is. Right, exactly. Um, mm. so yeah, the, you want to make sure this is something you want to try to keep in the back of your mind. Just like every time your passive shield is up and you go to trade, make sure you're actually using the shield and not mm. just like running like this. Okay. Um, okay. Right. A lot, yeah. Okay. Using W on the shield again. We don't, we don't want that. <clears throat> Okay. 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 So yeah, this is the next. Uh, this is the. Pr this is a pretty common thing with. The, I've coached a few Camille players now, and they all do this. So, why did you use your Q on this minion right here? Uh, I think I thought I wasn't gonna get it unless I did the auto attack reset. Okay. Like, cause my I think my auto was on cooldown. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We'll maybe talk about a second here. Okay. Yep. All right. So what's happening right now is so with Camille, um, because you're a champ, like you're not Irelia, right? You can't. If if you're Irelia, you could actually potentially like swing this wave and almost have it start pushing back towards Shen. Like, you could hit level 3 first because you could queue the minions um, and get it uh, back pu uh, pushing towards him, get a level advantage, go from there. As Camille, you don't really have that luxury. This is what I mean by, like, this is one of her main uh, weaknesses. Um, so you need to understand how levels 1 through 3 work 
uh, just in general in top lane. I, I can't remember if we've talked about this before when you were playing Jax. I think we have. Or like how whoever wins level one is going to be slow pushing one way. It's like almost turn based. Whoever's the one slow pushing, it's like their turn to be aggressive, contest CS, all that stuff. And then once it bounces off your tower and you start slow pushing back to him, then it's your turn, etc. Did we talk about that stuff before? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, what if because you like aren't winning level one, just like he's level two, you're level one. You you you've lost level one. He has the level advantage. That your brain needs to immediately like go into almost like defensive mode, where it's like, mm -hmm. okay, I am going to try and get CS, but pay attention to Shen, especially if his E is up. Because he should be contesting me. And like you want to be playing like the footsies game, either like trying to bait out his taunt and dodging it, then you can like walk up and CS safer. Um, or you can just give CS. Because mm -hmm. because you didn't do that, you're going to see. <clears throat> so, like, see, you walk up and auto him here, and this is fine because of the, the passive that should eat some minion autos. Um, if you didn't have the passive shield, that wouldn't be good. But uh, so you're still eating some minion damage though. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so then here, so you see, this is a terrible, like terrible scenario for you. You don't have W. Uh, you're not like deep in your wave or anything. You're not like way back here. Um, and Shen, honestly, Shen is much stronger. He should have ignite, but Shen is just stronger than you in general. Early to to be fair, uh, he should get the push level one, if I'm not mistaken. Um. So, like, basically the whole point here is you need to be going into defensive mode and when when you know he has taunt up or you have an idea it might be up, you you need to be, like, walking towards this and then walking away. Like, you can't, you can't just, you know, walk up autopilot uh, when he's stronger than you and he's pushing into you. Does this make sense? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Um, because he actually should have done more damage there and if he has ignite... He has kill pressure. Um, so, like, yeah, right here. He should never be running away. He's, like, griefing. He should just walk at you. Uh, you should never be walking at him. But. Okay. So, now we have E. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. So. Now we can talk about E. So, now, same concept applies here. Like that's that this that is uh like the same mistake is happening right now, where you shouldn't be jumping in on him. Um he's he has all of his abilities up, he's stronger than you, he has more HP. It's not like you have a big wave with you or anything like that. Um So if he, it, like let's say you wanted to contest that cannon right there. You would be doing it just with like your Q and that's it. You like you okay. wouldn't you you're not because the the problem with using your E the way you do it here is you're like you're committing, fully. Your mm -hmm. your E is an ability that's like so so goddamn strong for a lot of different reasons. Uh, it's great for escaping, uh, chasing. It can get you through CC. Uh, but if you just go in like this, like that's it. You don't have anything to get away. So, if we think about what should happen here. Shen, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. So he just taunts away. If he just Qs, brings this to him, and puts W down, your true damage won't hit him. Right? It's like... Yep. So you, you won't be able to damage him. You don't have W. Your damage is auto-based. So, like, you literally cannot damage him here. This means he doesn't even have to taunt you. He can just auto you, auto you, auto you, auto you with Q. And then as you start to get away... Then he taunts you as his Q comes back up, and like you die here every time. You should die 100%. Okay. You, okay, yeah. Do you like see why? No, no, it makes total sense to me. And I think we actually did talk about non committal trades with you, with Jax. Yes, yes, we did. That concept, the, the non committal trades with Q, same exact thing, but with Camille's E, and it's more important with Camille because the E is a longer cooldown. Mm hmm. Okay. So you really need to learn how to trade with her without having to use E. And the way you do that, uh, one of the best ways, is like you want to use the movement speed from your Q and the slow from the W to approach and kite without using E. So, for example, uh, a common trade pattern is you Q a minion. 
That'll give you movement speed. You'll W. You'll run at them and W with the movement speed. It'll slow them. And then you'll use the second Q since they're slowed. Mm -hmm. And if they try to engage, you can, like, E away or just kite away. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, totally. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, w Wave's still in a bad spot. Luckily, you know, he doesn't really know what the fuck he's doing. Um, it seems like you already know that, like, standing closer to the wall makes your E faster. Um, it yep, yeah. Seems like you're doing that. Okay. As you can see, you can't, like, do anything to him, and you just hard lose, right? So... Yep. This, this is more, not a, less of a Camille thing, more of a fundamental top lane thing. Okay. This will happen no matter who you're against. You, you, you can't win this right here. You know, you're not Renekton. You can't just, like, Ian hit everything, heal off of it. You don't have that privilege. You actually have to play the slow push game. Okay. Um, okay. Let's crash. Okay, so now you're in a pretty bad spot. Um, and this is also why I was talking about uh, the mana. As you can see, you're like basically out of mana. Um, and he has full HP. Uh, so I did notice a few times uh, I was I started to talk about it when you just walked up and used Q on a minion. You said uh, you couldn't get it uh, because your auto was on cooldown, but it's happened a few more times now where you're like queuing minions. You can't Q, like you shouldn't ever be using Q for no reason. Um, and like, even if you can't get a CS without it, like, sometimes you just can't use it. Like, cause if you run out of mana like this, you were completely useless. You actually don't do anything now. You can't, okay. you bear, you won't even really do anything if you're jungler ganks, uh, and you're just gonna be forced to TP and come back to lane. Um, <clears throat> okay. okay. And now you're you're too you're too weak you're, you have no you don't have enough mana or hp to like use your turn you know after after this crashes and starts pushing back to him that's your turn but now you you don't have the, the resources to do it mm, okay <clears throat> and that's just fundamental top lane stuff okay so he should dive you here huh, you get level five maybe you can survive Wow, are you actually getting dove in gold? Oh, yeah. Man, they fucked it up. You should be able to kill you. Oh my god. This is the most scuffed dive I think I've ever seen. Almost as scuffed as the dive I did last night on shit. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so let me look at this real fast. I don't even know if I... I don't even think it's worth me... Yeah, there's no point in even nitpicking what just happened because it was just a fucking scramble. Um, the, the the big takeaway here is... So, like, what just happened here is is pretty rare in, in lower elo. In higher elos, this is exactly what will happen every time. You'll get dove every time if you misplay lane this hard. So, it's very, very... Like, this, this fundamental top lane shit, you, you cannot, like, misplay lane and just be trading with the wave coming to you. Because then they crash it, and you get dove, and your lane's fucked. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now we can actually... Wait, you got Sheen? So, yeah, Sheen's a big big spike for her. Okay, so let me ask you something. It seems like you're trying to hard shove here. Yes. So, why are you trying to hard shove? Uh, because I used my TP, and so I wanted to try to get his TP. Okay, so let me just show you what's going to happen here. <clears throat> so do you see how... Do you see how this wave didn't crash, even though you tried to hard shove? Mm-hmm. So that's... That means... If we go back... <clears throat> That means you can just, like, you should just last, like, you, you need to know that as Camille, again, this is one of Camille's weaknesses, it's showing up again. As Camille, you don't have the clear to, like, push a cannon wave and crash it before uh, the next wave gets here. So you have to play the slow push game and just slow push this. Build up as big of a wave as you can and slowly push it in. 
Okay. Um, this can actually hurt you. Uh, it's a little advanced. I'm not going to get too much into it for now. Uh, but do, put doing this, trying to shove this wave and not getting it shoved can really fuck you. If like, let's say you're against Irelia, right? And you, the wave's going to be here where you had it. Now the wave's like in front of her tower. And you're you got, you gotta run all the way back to here if like if you're behind. Uh, even if you're not behind, like that's like I really is, like that that's where she shines right here. Um, and then that tower might help her thin out the wave, and then the wave's frozen. You either get ganked or you get run down. It it could be a problem. But if you just slowly push it here and you didn't hard push, uh, the the next wave would come. It'd be like right here where I'm circling, and then. Once the next wave gets here and you had this big wave that you built, then you just hard you hard push that. You're in a much safer spot, and that will you can actually shove with the help of uh, the big wave you made. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Totally. That'll come up again, like in the future. But just I'll give you just like a, a just like a simplified way of thinking about that. <clears throat> okay. So you could just reset here. You can buy a long sword. That'd be fine. Because uh, if there's no play to make, that's like what you should do. You should just reset and buy a longsword. Um, I don't know if people are rushing Hydra. I feel like they would. Sheen's really good on Camille, but Tiamat is yeah, too. I've, I've seen some people do it. Um, it seems okay. Uh, I just haven't messed with it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Make a play. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, let's look at this real fast. So, the reason this isn't good, or like, the reason you don't want to play it this way, is that mm -hmm. Syndra, she can push you off. So oh, like, like mid-jump. Yes, yeah, so she, she can push you away, and then you can't get on her. But... Because you have her basically cut off, you can just walk at her, try to mm. W her, and then when she goes to push you away, then you have E to chase her down. Okay. You see yeah, so I should have slow played this instead of just rushing it. Yep, and this is a really common mistake on like anyone that has mobility. Mostly junglers have this mistake where they, like, if you're Kha'Zix here, you don't want to just run and jump on her here. You just want to walk at her and then jump like when you actually have to use it. So if she was over here, and you're trying to make this play, then yeah, you could just hook shot to here and try to get on her because she's not cut off, but she's cut off here. Yeah. Um, so now, like, as you can see, she actually, like, almost lived because of Shen. Um, I, I didn't actually pay attention to if she used her stun properly or whatever, but as you can see, you gave her a little bit more counterplay than she should have had. Yep, makes sense. Okay. Um, let's see what you do here. Oh no. Okay, good. We're not hard pushing. Could have reset after that as well. I, I, did you get a kill? No, you didn't. Never mind. No gold to spend. No way this guy did that. Okay, so I need you to. So, Camille. You want it's it's like similar to Yasuo. If you've ever played Yasuo or Yone, where like you need to constantly be thinking, like you want to be constantly queuing for the movement speed and like the Sheen prop. So like he jumps on you here, just queue his ass. Okay. Because if you if you queue him and then he uses like W, this is an 18 second cooldown. That's like his main counterplay to you is his W. Mm -hmm. So okay. you need to make him f like feel like he needs to use that because as soon as he does, it, you cue him, you get the movement speed, you 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 can just kite away, and then he doesn't have that cooldown anymore. Then you can actually jump in. Uh, this is 18 second cooldown, and this is an 18 second. Both of them, the taunt and the W. So if you use both of those here, just and you just bait it out with Q, then as soon as that's gone, which this only lasts what like two seconds. Uh, yep. 1.75? 1 1.75. 1 yeah, 1 yeah. Then you can actually go in with E and actually do damage to him because he doesn't have a way of stopping your, your autos. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. It, it, whenever someone's on top of you, there's no world where you, like, shouldn't be queuing them for the for 
the movement speed, the sheen proc. Um, and if he doesn't use W here, then you just get a free true damage proc. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. Okay, now he's used it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So this is all normal, like, like Camille issues. Uh, I don't know how many games you played of her so far. How how many would you say? It's too many to do something that dumb. <laughs> I don't it's know. Like le le legit close to a hundred. Okay, I mean that's still not that many. So like, trust me. Okay. This like that's you're good. Um, <clears throat> so when you walked up here, I want you to see something. You see how you just you just queued the minion? Mm hmm We just need to turn that into queuing him here. You would queue him. Uh walk away. It's like you could like walk a step away and then E. This is like a common Camille trading pattern. You'd Q and then E, and then at, by the time your E hits him, your Q2 is ready. You whack him with the Q uh the true damage, and then you kite away with the movement speed. Okay. Um so, so Q him instead of the minion, hook shot to him, and then Q to him. Yep, that is a like okay. super, super common. That's like probably her most common trading pattern. Uh, okay. Now, this, I like see what you're going for here. And it's more just like you were just using it at the wrong time. It's not that like you fucked up mechanically. It was just like, mm. yeah, you need it like the pat, like the, the pattern that we were just talking about is what you need to be uh, focused on. Okay. Okay, so do you see how like your your wave got here first now and like it, it's starting your turn in a sec or like in in like yep. a wave. So this that's what that's what you want to play for. But so you're going a little early here. Now, you lost all your HP. Well, luckily you have some potions, but you see like th this is like such a common problem. You can't be going in for a trade like right before it's about to be like an advantageous situation for you. Okay. Wait for the wave to get there and then trade so that if he goes in, he eats more minion damage. Yeah. Or sometimes some matchups are so like brutal. So like if let me, who who the fuck counters Camille really hard? Uh, I feel like it's always going back and forth between uh, Renekton used to Stomper if I remember right. Uh, Jax is pretty rough. Okay, it doesn't even matter. But basically, if you're behind or it's a really hard matchup and, like, these minions aren't enough, like, just, like, six minions or something, if you're, you, like, play for the slow push, so, like, you'd wait for the next wave to get here, like, a bigger wave. You know see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, let your you wave build back? up. Yep, you can just chill. Okay. Like, play the footsies game, try to bait out his taunt. Uh, you can give up CS, use W for some CS, stuff like that. Um, but don't lose all your HP right when you're about to have, like, a chance to fight. Okay. Okay. Yep, pop this pots. Okay, as you can see, he just W's. Yep. Okay. Okay. So he's like letting you walk up in true. D so. He's letting you run up and slap him with the the true damage. So when you go against you know competent players, obviously they're not gonna let that happen, and that's when you need to kind of combine the Q and W like I was talking about, um, mm -hmm. or do like Q one kite away E Q two. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> so the issue here is just yeah you you trolled before. Uh oh. Oh shit. Okay, killed there. So, yeah, and this is all happening right now just because you didn't wait for your wave to like, trade. Like, you could kill him. You have Ignite, and he doesn't. Um, you just need to actually play. You haven't been able to, like, push in your wave and fight with it yet. Because you keep uh, taking really yeah, bad trades. Yeah, I keep fucking up offense defense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I guess we can talk about Camille's E now. So, you should... Like, your best chance at living here, honestly, is going to be, like, like, y you can, okay, so, I don't know if you know, but, like, if you shoot your E to, like, here, not actually on the wall, but, like, to the edge of the wall, it will latch on, like, right here. 
and then you could go this okay. way. Okay. Okay. Um, that's one option. Other option is to like alt him because that's a, that's a jump. That's a small jump. It would make yep. you jump to him, and then you could e this way to your teammates. Oh my god, they're actually mm. right here doing this this whole time. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now you you should just die. Honestly, you shouldn't really have counterplay, but there is a chance uh, if you go this way. Um. Yeah, you're just going that way. But either way, I'm not too worried about that. All right, so what do you have now? And as you can see, this is why, like, going Hydra, I think, will be better as a rush right now with how strong it is. Because, like, you see, it's so hard for you to, like, out-push him. Um, oh, wow. That's a freebie. Oh, boy. Okay. Nope, I fuck it up. Okay, okay. So, this either could be, like, not a big deal at all or a big problem. It depends on, like, the thought, the thought process. What was your thought process here? Uh, you know, I just was trying to do something. Um, there wasn't, there wasn't any. Okay. So this just goes, down, this just comes back around to not wasting E unless you like need, like this ability is so goddamn good. You know, it's not like a Jax Q where you have to target him. No matter where this guy goes here, he's, you have him. He can't get away. Yeah. So just don't use E until you actually need to either go over the wall or wherever the fuck he goes. Okay. Um... Oh god. Oh god. Definitely don't need to ult there either. Um Yeah, I at that point I was like, I'm getting this fucking kill, man. But, I mean uh, I think I already had it. The ult actually almost made you not get it because it took some like it was a long animation. Your teammates oh. almost killed him. You just needed to like walk up and, and hit him with your sheen. Um but either way. Okay. So Oh, another thing I've been meaning to talk about. Let me see if you do it here. So, are you making sure... Uh, I, I, I've noticed a few times, but I might as well just ask you. Are you making sure every time you use, like, your two Qs that you are using an auto before each one? Like, canceling into the Q? I try to, but if I'm doing it every time, I, I doubt it. So, but you are trying to. Like, you know, like, yeah. mentally you are trying to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all that matters. Like, that'll come with practice, as long as you know you're actually trying to do it. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about this real fast. So, um, do you know that your E gives you, like, an attack speed steroid? Yes. Okay. So, because your E gives you an attack speed steroid, um, when Shen does something, like, that's why, it, that's another reason it's so important to learn how to do it, like, a uh, trade without being committal and try to bait this ability out right here because you can't use that attack speed steroid when this is out you just can't hit him but if you bait this out and like and then because like you could literally just walk at him and if he taunts you and he uses this you just basically wait it out and then you run his ass down okay um because yeah the, the attack speed steroid actually like gives you a decent amount of dps um but it's kind of wasted when he I can't uh, Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you keep killing. Okay, okay. So, as Camille gets a bunch of points in her Q, um, so the, the cooldown goes down to, yeah, it goes from 8 to 5, which is pretty nuts, and this is without your, yeah, you don't even have, like, the CDR from Divine Sunder yet. Actually, Divine Sunder, it could be a pretty good, hmm. There's value here in Divine Sunder and Hydra. Hydra, you get permanent sustain, and hard push versus, versus Shen, which is, there's a lot of value there. Because uh, then he can't alt without losing a fuckload of minions. But then Divine Sunderer definitely makes it so you beat the shit out of him. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't know, that Divine Sunderer spike is just... Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to think about it a little more. Anyway. Uh, so... you know, I'll, screw around. I'll screw around with Ravenous, like especially in something like this. Um, so like here, so like you see how like you queued that and then you just like, you walk to the side cause in your mind, you're just like Q now I'm going to jump to him. 
Like mm -hmm. that movement, he doesn't get any movement speed, right? You're at 493. He's at 365. Just walk at him, yeah. You can just run, yeah. you can just walk at his ass. Okay. Um, and that's like a big part of playing Camille that a lot of players actually mess up. Um, so this is good. This is how you like kite with the movement speed. And now you have to remember that like you're you are at that point where your Q cooldown is so short and he's he's jumping into your wave. It's your turn now. This is what we're waiting for finally. Kill his ass. Mm -hmm. He, so I think I, I disengage too much. Well, here, so this is just like fundamental stuff. Same, same kind of thinking like before, where you were trading in when you shouldn't have. Now, like you're not going in when you should. Okay. You need to be thinking. You, you so you, remember how I was saying like you need to be going into defensive mode when you realize you're getting pushed in. Yeah. Now you need to flip the switch back the other way into offensive mode when you are the one pushing. Okay. So they can't be doing shit like this. This this, this is this is nonsense. Uh, he's just griefing. You have ignite. You have your passive shield. You have fifty minions. Your Camille. You but you were like about to whack him with more true damage. Um, so yeah, you could have killed him there, especially if you didn't alt earlier. Uh oh. Okay, right, you're about to e in and, and die to Silas. You know. Oh yeah. Oh. Don't e. No. I hate to see it. Okay. All right. So it was a good try, but uh, main two main you know things here. One, this is kind of what happens when you don't take advantage of the kill when you should have. Well, that that's like one thing. The other thing is, yeah, you're because like think about what your E does for you here. Like you're already on top of him. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's no... I don't gain anything. No. Yeah. Um, You could just, like, kite kite him out here. Uh, I mean, now, this requires you to have a little bit of, like, aware, like map awareness here, which I, I don't expect you to... When you're, like, tunneled on this, I don't expect you to see this guy. Um, But it, the whole thing is, like, this Shen hasn't taunted yet, right? So, yeah. And you're obviously winning. So he will probably have to taunt away. So there's no reason to use your E when he still has his mobility. And you don't need the E damage or anything. You're, you're about to kill him with just like Q2 and Ignite. So instead you save the E, which not only helps you kill him if it's just you just 1v1, but it also will let you get away with because of the non-committal like trading concept that we talked about in case some shit hits the fan like this. So just like with Jax, uh, like I said with Jax, it's going to be a very big part of like uh, really uh, important thing like non-committal trades Camille it's just as important if not more important okay One again. okay um got divine thunder now all right so laning phase so like we can uh we went over the lane now and um honestly all this came down to it wasn't as much Camille folk or Camille issues this was just fundamental top lane issues yeah. Um, not like playing for your turn in, in the wave. Um, yep. But so the now, E thing is good because I mean, thinking about it, I, I do that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's that's really good stuff. Um, so now we can actually look at like a mid game because there is a lot of like nuance to Camille's because she scales like so hard that she, like she just like turns into a whole like another so, champ. This one might actually have some interesting mid game because we just started hard losing and they started taking uh, like just running down mid, um, and I didn't think that I could really help defend. Okay. And so I just started shoving top, and I don't know if that was the right call or not. Um, so I should open that one back up, the Shen one. Yeah, yeah, that might actually have some good some good mid game stuff. Okay. Because I mean, we ended up winning, and I I think I did really well, but. I was just kind of, there was no thought to any of it. So I, I, I had no clue what I was doing. Okay. So let's go to, let me reshare screen. Let's go to 14 minutes. So uh, we'll see. So you had to find Sunder. Wait, were you just walking up and hitting that tower when his taunt was up? You psycho? Yes. Holy shit. I respect that. I, I was just tilted, man. Silas had been up there like five times. You're still way ahead. So, I mean, 
Yeah. As long as this you're ahead, that's that's like my. Like I tilt when I actually fall behind from the nonsense bullshit baby mode jungle. If you're ahead, in my opinion, there's no reason to be tilted as long if you're still ahead because that means you're still in. Like you can still carry the game. It's still in your hands. You can still bully the fuck out of this guy. Nothing to be worried about. Um. So this is this is a situation I find myself in. Mm -hmm. Semi regularly is that I'm kind of ahead, like not super ahead, but I'm you know I'm doing okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the map is just falling apart. Um, and I feel like I try to spam shove waves in, but you know they just sit there and wave clear, and uh, I just feel kind of useless. Okay, so now, okay, this is good. We talk about this first off. Do not worry about like you this game is very close like the, the map's not falling apart that's just like your own i don't know the word for it there's a word for it it's it's like not that's not really actually what's happening um yeah well so i guess is that just because of the way the towers are they you know it's we, we've only really lost spot tower why why is that so it could it, it's like a, a basically like their top laner is behind their their mid laner is behind their ADC is fed, but like that, he might have like the, the Kate isn't worth the same amount of gold every time she dies. So like she, he might not have gotten that much gold from that. Um, basically, this like having one personal enemy team seven and no, especially if it's not the jungler. If it, like their ADC, there, there's nothing to be worried about. Like they're not that far ahead yet. If it, the enemy mids like a fizz, like. Like if this was a, a Fed Syndra, that's not also not that big of a deal. Fed ADC, not that big of a deal. It's like the champions that like snowball extremely hard. Like a gig if this Silas was seven zero, like Giga Fed, that's more of a problem. But with that being said, my second point, you're Camille. I've always told my stream and like everybody that I if I'm fed on Camille, I feel like I can carry anything. That's the strongest okay. champ. And I don't play her like a lot or anything. But when I did, she, I think it just, she's just insane when she's, when she's ahead. You can always carry. You scale. Teach me your ways, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, but basically, don't worry. You scale. Your champ's insane. You can, you can out carry pretty much anything. You have like so many win conditions. You're, you're an insane split pusher. You're good at team fighting. You're good at making picks. Like you, you do everything. You kill tanks because of the true damage. You burst squishies. You know, like, you do it all. Yeah. So don't She's worry about the map. Out. Just worry about getting your items and doing what you need to do, like, to get as much gold as possible, get those items, then you just run over the game. Um, okay. And, like, yeah, it, it's, like, it can be frustrating here where, like, yeah, map's falling apart. It feels like the map's falling apart and you can't do anything. That's what I mean by, like, just don't don't worry. That That's just part of the game. It's, it's fine. You can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Just do what you need to do, and that's what if you're doing that right now. Just uh, don't get too okay. Okay. Let's see how you play this. I mean, I'm curious. I ah. miss. Yeah. Do you know that your alt pushes people away? Yes. Okay. So like that's a. So I guess what what? Hold on. So who could I have? I guess old Shin to push Silas away or old. Um, so it, so you'll see here, so right here, you want to alt the Silas to push the Shen away, because if you alt the Shen, then you're pushing Silas towards your tower, right? Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah, you would alt the Silas, uh, push Shen away, and then Q the Silas, and use the movement speed to try to get away. Um, you might still die. This really just came down to your E being shit. Yep. Um... Okay, so, but that's fine. That happens. I mean, I, I did that. The best Camille players will do that from time to time. Um, not, not a big deal. Okay, so this is what I mean by, like, we got to make sure you are auto. Like, you have to think about it this way. It might not, it's not seem like much because it's just an auto. But... When your Q becomes a, like, when you are when you have two Qs and the cooldown gets, the, I'm pretty sure the cooldown starts on, let me see. Yeah. 
I, I might be. Yeah, when when Q1. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, like with. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure it does. Yeah, it does. So, your Q starts. The cooldown starts after you use Q1. So literally, as you're finishing here, it's back up again. So if you're using, like, since you're using Q so much as your main form of damage, if you use Q six times in the fight, or no, let's just bring it down to four times. Four times in the fight, um, that's eight autos that you can be, like, doing auto Q, auto Q. That's a lot of autos, right? Yeah. So, like, here, you did it. You just, you just Q'd him. You want to make sure you're auto Q every time. Like, make it a, make it a... It's like a big deal that you like ingrain this into your, because like see he would he would have died right there. Yep. And like it, it'll be the difference. <clears throat> okay, now you have wait do you actually have Hydra or just team out? Okay, just team out. Just oh okay. So right here you're just fighting for like this is just fighting for no reason. You just gotta play. remember the wave is like for you. Uh, I can like see it's a big issue. Uh, that you don't, you don't play for the wave first. You your decisions need to be based off the wave. Okay. So like at this point in the game, like this is the mid game now. This isn't landing phase anymore. It's all about just pushing. So first off, you shouldn't even be in top lane. I'll be honest. Um, after you got this kill, uh, your your entire team's up here. So like you, I mean, you actually can go top lane, but you would go top lane, collect the wave. And then recall and either go bot or go back down mid or whatever. Because you just got uh, a kill. You'll push the waves. You'll get even more gold. Um, you shouldn't just be running at him, fighting him. That's, you can do that in, down in bot lane when like you know no, it's just you guys. But you're on the top side of the map where the only neutral objective is. Mm -hmm. So like they can be there. Like Let's just see what your vision looks like. So we know two are there. And now we see them coming. You see like you can see that they were on the way. Yeah, yeah. I just really wanted to kill that Shin. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And see, it comes back to the same thing. Like, don't worry. You will get the your chance to, like, find this guy alone and kick the shit out of him. When Especially when you get more items. Like, there's no getting away from you. Mm. So if you find him in a side lane, he's fucked. So, like, don't worry. Don't stress. You'll, you'll get him. But, like, the more... And this is where a lot of Camille players struggle. They try to do too much early and then like they do something very like high risk like this and then because she's a champ that like takes a little bit to start like uh because you d she doesn't start really accelerating her her income until she gets the hydra finished you do something like this and sets you behind and then it's taking you that much longer to get to hydra it's taking you that much longer to get to that point where you can actually start like power farming basically you see what i'm saying does that make okay. sense yeah no that makes total sense <laughs> So yeah, just have the mentality that you're like you're playing for your your two three item spikes as Camille. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, you're doing Q auto on a uh, or auto Q on the. Uh, yeah, on minions or something for the most part. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, Merc Treads are so good here. Yeah, this is good. What you're doing right now is perfect. So when you were asking, like, you weren't sure if you were supposed to go back or whatever, same mentality. Like, okay, I have one item. Enemy enemy bot lane's fed as fuck. It, it literally does not matter if they take this inhib. It's a good thing if they take that inhib. Right. Yeah, I figured it's mid too, right? Like, that's where you walk down anyways. So we're going to be fine well it's more that like baron's not even up to use this in it right now okay okay that's just free supers for you guys and they, they don't get in like they don't get mid farm if they take mid in mm. so you can let them push all you want and you just keep okay. pushing silent get as much gold as you can until you feel you have the items you need to actually uh carry and for you this game if you like get your items then you can bully the shen like, that's, that's a win condition in itself. This is perfect, though. What you're doing right now is exactly what I would do. And you're going to okay. get a shitload of gold here. You can even keep going. Let's see if you keep going. Now, you do want to, like, move your screen just to look. Whoever's pinging you here is fucking brain dead. Nice. Yeah, keep yep. going. Good shit. 
Now, you do want to move your screen just to see, like, oh, they are overstaying. Like, I can get free shutdowns potentially. Mm, um, okay. But, like, that's that's a judgment call, and that's, that's like, a little tricky. Um, it, you're, what you're doing here is totally fine. You gone? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, it's time to go now. Good, good, good. Okay, no, no, don't die. Wow, this was actually... I would have never went here to recall, but it was actually kind of <laughs> smart. What the fuck? I've never seen that. Um, okay, so now you get your Hydra. You can run down to bot, because they should take... Enemy team should take Dragon, and, and then Baron will be up. Yep, now you can hard push. You have a shitload of sustain. You can clear midway first, that's fine. I want to see like you fight. I want to see like how your team fight. Yeah, I think that I I don't really understand. It's um, a little tricky. Yeah, it's definitely a little tricky. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I fucked up my Q too. Um. So, first things first here. Um. <laughs> You, you want to be thinking about your E as like a... Like this is kind of an awkward scenario, I, I would assume, for a newer Camille player. Because like, it's not like you can like hook shot to a wall and then jump to her. Like The wall's right here. I don't know. I could be wrong, but either way. You want to just walk up as close to the wall as you can and then just put your mouse on her. She, she can't dodge this. It's not possible. So, okay, and getting close to the wall is just so she has less reaction time, or yeah, because that, is... that means your E doesn't have to travel to the wall and then bounce off the wall. You're just literally okay. starting on the wall already, and you just you just shoot off of it instantly. Okay. Um. So like you you see that little like you see how your legs had to like travel and hit the wall. Uh huh. If you're on top of the wall, that doesn't even happen. Like you literally would just bounce off of it. Okay. So it just made just because it's quicker. Yes. Okay. So that's first thing. Just put your mouse right on top of her. Then that will stun her. You'll hit her with auto Q. Then if you think you're either about to get so like this is a like probably Camille's uh most important like and like most common kill combo in a team fight. You'll do E in, auto Q, and then like you'll you'll delay like a second, and then you'll alt that person that you're trying to kill and then Q2 as soon as you come out of the alt. Mm -hmm. As soon as you like come down in the alt because then they can't push you away and your Q2 is ready as you alt them. Um, so that would just kill her and then it's free. Um, yeah, you fucked this up and that's fine. Now the other thing is your W here. W, like you're not going to be using W like this ever in a team fight. It's like your it's your W is to help you kite kind of like you would in lane or to chase. Okay. Um, no, not damage. Yeah, no, no, it's not for damage at all, really. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so and so, like, if you miss your E, it's so important that you land your E. Like th that attack speed steroid is fucking nuts. That six sixty percent attack speed is crazy on top of the three hundred damage it does and the stun, but. Because you don't have that attack speed, all the damage you had was like just Q. Um, don't use E here. Okay. Let's talk about this. Same thing with the E. Uh, you don't only need to use it like when you have to. And think about like, like obviously there's no escape for this guy. But yeah, I could have gotten Silas, huh? Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. So, yeah. Like your E, even if like Silas isn't here and you're chasing the Shen, your E should be up here. You should be shooting mm -hmm. it this way. Not to like cut off his escape path. Well, it's just because that's gonna give you the most like distance where like where he's going. You use it this okay. way, then like you can only go this far. So mm. if he like if he flashes this, then how do you chase him? Right? Mm. But if you use it over here, or if you don't use, you don't even have to use it at all right now. You can just yeah. follow him and then E to the wall or whatever. But using it horizontally like this, you're just kinda of, like wasting the ability you're already on top of them anyway okay um this guy's ego and kill this motherfucker it's actually be pretty hard to take uh okay Watch this careful well, let's see what you do okay 
Okay, okay. So let's talk about this. Mm. So here, you tunneled. There are times on Camille where you shouldn't be going for the true damage. And oh, okay. That is. This was one of those times. You like tunneled on it. And you can see you were kind of just like chilling there. Uh, oh, because he's got the Tarek shield coming down. Yeah, you just want to burst yeah. as fast as possible. So it's just like E in, auto Q, auto Q. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like no true damage. Yep. Um. Okay. Playing. Okay. Q. Okay. So. This should actually get you killed. Um, so Camille in a team fight, it can be tricky sometimes, and it, it still like it, it mainly comes down to how you use your E, uh, and it's just like in lane, like being committal. So here, you're you don't even like there's no reason to use E, so you should be walking up Q with that move speed and then kite. Okay, kite back. Yes, because you can still kill that guy. But you kite away first at, because mm. you're playing around the Q like d uh, downtime as it's waiting for your true damage to come up. So Q, you kite away, and then you could E over the wall back onto him. Q2, that gives mm. you a burst of movement speed. And then you kite away again, use W. You see, like you're like you you should be going in and out using that movement speed in your E. You don't want to just be going head first like this where they can all just turn and kill you. Because they just like kind of, they like ignored you after a certain point for whatever fucking reason. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Auto Q, kite away. Let's see. Right, yeah, you, you should die for this. Oh, potential. Nice. Yeah, Sheen proc. Yeah, fuck that guy for egoing. Yeah, as you can see, Camille's fucking crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, it's good balance. Exhaust doesn't do shit. Armor doesn't do shit. She has a Cho alt on a fucking two second cooldown. Like, she's nuts. So, you just need to learn how to. Because the problem here with this, as you can see, just like, watch how little you, like, kite it. This, yeah, I'm just kind of going ham. Yeah, you kite right? it here, but it, it, wasn't, it didn't seem like kiting. It was more like you were just running, and then you decided, okay, let's fight again. And then you yeah. walked up. Auto Q. And like, so then I should just kind of back off, and then I can E back in, or just back off. You, Is that, that it? Well, so in this particular scenario, you could just keep autoing this guy, but the key is you should not be using E. Mm, okay. Because your Q, you want to be thinking of your E as like almost like a bridge between your Q1 and your Q2. That mm -hmm. same with your alt, the same way your alt does it. It's like. Your Q's about to come up, so you you just auto him because he's right on top of you. You don't need the gap close. So then you yeah. would auto him and then Q, and you might need to kite away with that, and then you would E back in to f and use that true damage on whoever you decide to jump on with, with E. Mm -hmm. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, no, no, perfect sense. Um, because as you can see here, this guy only lives because you just... I E'd. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Instead of kiting. Okay, so this was good that you the the sheen proc on the Silas to finish him. So if you were, if you weren't like, I, I know you're panicking here, so it's like it's fine. But this is exactly what I'm talking about, where like the the bridge. So like you queued here, now your second queue is ready. Look at this guy. Yep. You just uh, e right over the wall, boom, Q two. You that's that like. Uh, and then I'm out. Yep. And then. Oh, that would have been. I would have styled on him, man. Did you turn and kill Shen afterwards? They can't kill you. Ah. Uh, this okay. is what I mean by like I don't. There is no champ that feels stronger than Camille when fed. I I I have. I have thousands of games and all these different champs, but on Camille, even without like like an insane amount of games, that's like the most confident I'll ever be in carrying a game is when fed on her because <laughs> she's just fucking crazy. Yeah. Um. Okay, so this is where... Okay, okay. So you can kill him. Okay, okay. So you gotta remember your shield, and you gotta remember you get a lot of HP, this champ. You you get a lot of sustain. No matter what build Camille... Uh, for, uh, no matter what build is meta for Camille, she always has a fuckload of sustain uh, when she gets items. So here, as he's chasing you, you gotta realize he can't kill you. 
He's going to taunt over the wall. Instead of eating away, what will we do here this time? Now that we know and we've learned, what will we do now? I think I cue him. I walk back. Maybe use my W to, to kite him out uh, or to slow him. Go back in for the Q2. Yeah, on the, on the Tarek that's chasing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? This guy's just... Yep. He has no fucking clue that he is just free. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you're, you're in panic mode, which is fine. But next time, think of it like, yeah, you're just kiting, 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 using Q1, and then E in Q2. Uh, obviously, it's going to uh, depend on the situation, like, exactly what you what you do. But you mm. see what I'm saying, like, this pattern. Um, oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm just totally oom there. Yep. Uh, Q him here. Always Q here. Okay. That's what I mean where, like, like when someone's next to you, you Q them. Uh, it, it's only going to help you. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, we, that, that's good. We actually got to see you fight there and uh, saw a few issues. Oh, nice. They're Varus 1 AP, so they're fucking 5 AP. Yeah. So you can just get a maw and then you're unkillable. Okay. See what you do. Yep, kill his ass. So okay. I guess once once again, I, I should have slow played DE. Well, so here, this situation is a little bit different. Um, it comes down to how strong he is. If, like, if he is a threat to you, he has a death cap. So honestly, but you have a maw and merc treads. I honestly don't know. I don't... I don't think he can kill you, but Varus AP does a lot of fucking burst. Either way, if you have alt up, you can just lead with E and that's fine. Because then you'll you'll E, he's stunned, auto Q, and then alt right after. That'll that'll dodge his alt if he tries. But if he doesn't, he tries to hold it. You're gonna Q to him and explode him as soon as you come out of the alt. That kill combo mm -hmm. we talked about. Yep. Um, because you don't have alt, yeah, you could slow play it with E. That'd be fine. Um, it just comes down to if, because if, if you don't think he can kill you at all, then yeah, you just slow play it every time because you know he's going to ult you and then you'll E after he ults you. Yeah. But if he, if he is able to actually kill you, you actually have to go in and try to just like pop him, you know, you, uh, you can't like play it, uh, too slow. But anyway. Yeah. So you also got to keep. Uh, so this oh yeah I forgot to talk about this too Camille like this guy isn't he doesn't live like he's still dead like oh cause I have I can just keep walking at him and chase him down with E yeah and Q yeah you can just Q a minion fuck little movement speed uh, you, he, th look how far he has to run yeah and you're, you're gonna get three more E's in by this time mm -hmm. so like yeah that that's this is what I mean by she does everything you can't get away from her if, if you find someone in silent, they can't get away. It's not, like, possible. So. Oh, God. Okay, okay. So let's talk about this real fast. So here. This is, uh, this was fine. Now, the enemy team... You just, you literally just went bot lane, got Varus all, got him to flash, right? So, when you eat in here and you saw him there, you Q1 for the movement speed, just like in laning phase, walk up with W with that movement speed, alt that guy, mm -hmm. and then their carry is dead, and it's over. Fight is completely over. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah, focusing Silas was, was the wrong move. Basically, your W... This is what I mean by it's not like a damage thing. It's like to catch up to someone or like to like extend yourself to slow them um, and catch someone that could be out of position, which is uh, the, the virus right now. Um, or okay. to kite some uh, as you walk away. Um, this guy should still die probably, but yeah, you could have got him uh, yourself earlier than that. And... It's important you you know take advantage when they're out of position right away, because uh, in other games they you might not get another chance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
Okay, let's see what you do. I want to see uh, like one or two more fights here. Red team has slain the dragon. So remember that like as the game progresses, especially like after level 13, when you have all five points in uh, this and all five points in this, this doesn't have a cooldown anymore. By the time you're done using it, it's already up because uh, three seconds. This is such a short cooldown and like crazy mobility, meaning in a side lane, you are such a problem. They can't catch you to kill you and they can't stop you with just one person. So you may well, I should be in a side lane right now. Uh, it well that part depends on like if you think you can win the team fight or carry it or whatever at the time. Um, I'm just letting you know that there's gonna be times where like okay yeah we definitely can't win this team fight they have fucking cog Lulu or some shit and mm. you need to go into the side lane and just be like you almost as Camille you almost have to like limit test your side lane capabilities like you need to push have the enemy team come and you gotta try to escape from like three four people because okay. you'll realize you actually can quite easily okay and then you'll learn how much like you can get away with um you should just eat over this wall here okay oh wow hydra's so nice holy shit yeah okay just go for the the tower okay. mm, 600 okay push 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 You can just take it in front of his face if you want. Careful now. Oh, wait, that guy's breathing? Oh. You can just go for bot tower. Oh, that guy's dead? So. I was a little freaked out about getting Baron and then throwing. Yep. Um, but, but yeah, you just, just well, full send on the, uh, the Varus. Well, to, to be fair to you. The better play is not uh, well. Yeah, the better play would be to not go in. I guess I have to look at it again. Um, because like you don't have to take any risks here. Um, but like you could also e on top of him and do that combo we talked about: auto Q and then alt finish him with the Q two. Either way, uh, the best play here, like not even t t talking about Vars, the best play was earlier before this when. You need to be thinking of it like this, like, they can't, like, stop you here, and you have to think about Shen, like, his position. He wants to ult. He's, like, so worried about ulting for his team. Mm. Um, if he taunts you under tower, it doesn't fucking matter. You'll just Q him and walk away and heal it all back up with Ravenous Hydra. So you can just go for the tower. If he goes mm, ult okay. someone like he did, you're just... Take the inhib. Yep, you're just taking everything. Okay. That's like your champion excels at taking towers. Yeah. So you just walk up and, and sheen that shit. You'll take this in like three Qs. Because this is a waste of your time. Okay. Yeah, I was just worried it was going to hit the fan over there. So I wanted to, to be there to kind of at least threaten. Yeah, and if it does, you, you're, you can quickly like travel over there if it seems like it'd be a good play. Oh, here you got to kill him though. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When he was alone. Oh my goodness. He's a fucking psycho. Like, Tarek won't save him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely. I don't know how much limit testing you do. But. Not too much. Too much or not too much? Too much. Oh, okay. This was just one of the. I was like, I'm not losing this fucking game. Oh, okay. Um, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, no, I, I probably. I, I think I do too much stupid stuff. Because I think, well, maybe I can do it. I don't know if that ult was good. I just thought it's late game. If we get a pick, that's that's really good. So yeah, that logic is is like, like totally sound. And like in the, okay. uh, that, that, I'm like I'm not. This ult is like it's like fine. I I'm not gonna say it was good because he was like fuck no matter what. And even if like he has a long way to go, if he has flash, he he's still not gonna get away. And like, so I could have slow played it a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Now let's see what happened. The logic's still good though. That like it's late game, a pick is a big deal. It's just that he's so far out of position. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I honestly I don't know yeah. why he's in here. Um Okay, kite. Okay, so here, another perfect example of like it, it this is like pretty common with like newer comedians. They use E like basically every time they can. Uh so like as you can see, like you have your true damage Q ready. 
So you would just true damage Q this guy mm. and then walk away. Yeah, yeah. You would like walk okay. this way and then as that falls off, you E over the wall to go back in. Or you would like, you would basically Q2 him, Q1 him afterwards because it's back up. Walk this way, E over the wall and Q2 someone if like Terracol is falling off. You see what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because like your E here, look, at, look how useless this is. Now, what do you do to get on the back line? Yep. It's like okay. That that you need to be your E needs to. I don't even know the word for it, I guess, but I think you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm just throwing it out there a bit too much and not even getting any value out of when I do. Yeah, exactly. Wait, you guys don't win here? No. Wait, how? Wait. So I don't. Could could we have ended there? I, I wasn't sure, and I, I like I said, I just really didn't want to lose this game. Um. I mean, it would have been close, but probably. It, I mean, it's fine okay. not to go for. I I, I would have went for one more tower at least, but either way. Yeah. So I, I do get that that tower. And Either way, not the biggest deal. Um, see what you have now. Death Dance, okay. QSS is really good this game, too. Um, holy shit, 10.5k? What the fuck? <laughs> nice, you're actually in a perfect spot right now. Good. Okay, so get ready to run, though. Yep, yeah, EOA. Okay, oh boy. Q. Woo! There you go, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Now, this was a little scuffed. I'll give you that, uh, or uh, I'll have to tell you that. So, here, if you E away early, that is, in like before Silas shows up, that's like fine, can't blame you for that. As soon as Silas shows up, you might as well walk at him, cue him, like, because you eing like this, it's like you almost want him to use his E first so you can E away and he has no gap closer. Mm, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and I have enough health to, to play with that, the, yeah, I can tank tank some damage. Yeah, yeah, like, you'll heal through a lot of it, and you have Maul, like, you, you, you're very hard to kill. So you can cue him because what actually can happen here, believe it or not, is like you could kill a few people and probably survive. Like you th look at look at his items. He's like full blown. Like he has no hourglass, nothing. Mm, um, you might okay. then what, your Q did like half his HP. Yeah, I think I, I fucked up my Q two here. No, I guess it lands. Uh, you missed the first one. Okay. Um. Your Q actually did like half his health <laughs> in true damage. Yeah. So, yeah, if you could like kite this out a little bit better and actually use your Q, because like you would like Q him and then he over chases, then you, you act like you're eating away, but you actually just go back in on him, pop him with the Q2. Mm. You could potentially kill him, alt Syndra to dodge for a stun. Like you can outplay and like you don't have to go for that here. Uh, but uh, the, the part about like not using your E too early. Oh, wait, kill that guy? Yeah. Oh my god, you were nowhere near killable. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's me right there saying, damn, this, like, fuck this game. What the hell is that shit? Holy. Okay, well, let's actually talk about this because this was a little scuffed as well. Okay. So what's interesting to me. Okay, see, so you did Q here. So you see how, like,. You, you're kiting him out here, but Camille, like, when you're in a 1v1 like this and he's an AP champ, he's the one who needs to kite you out because he he can't just auto you. He's he's an AP champ. So you okay. just want to auto the shit out of him. Yeah, Silas is, is a mystery to me. I've, I've never played him. Um, and all I know is that all of a sudden, like, he's back at full health and you're dead, so I was a little nervous there. Oh, no. But as, apparently I should not have been. Yeah, as you can... Like I said, no one can fuck with you. Yeah. As, like, as Fed Camille, especially when they're letting you itemize like this, because they, they 
have all these AP champs, like, you are not killable. Um, okay, so I think we have actually pretty much seen... Yeah, it's just some back and forth at this point. We end up winning, that's cool. Oh, actually, the the end is kind of funny, if you're looking for content. Um, it's like the last, maybe, I don't know, two minutes. Um, so what were you thinking here, by the way? In this exact uh, moment? So we had, okay, what's going on here? We just got Baron. Um... So I was just watching to see what happened, I think. Like, let's see, do, does my team just, you know, run it down? Do I need to be there? What, what's the, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, what do you think you should be paying attention to here? Uh, I guess the supers bot. Yeah, so okay. you just need to be paying attention to if, like, your teammates are going to potentially... Because basically, think about the enemy, like, what the enemy team is feeling. You can see it here. They feel like they need a recall. Yeah. So if one recalls, now this is a 5v4 and you use Camille's insane engage to just go in and kill Cinder or whoever you want. If they don't, mm -hmm. you just TP botly and you end the game. Okay. Okay. So let me see what you end up doing. You just kill Cinder here. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh, she's dead. Oh my god, he went over the wall too. Okay, so... So, you see how you use your E on this wall right here? Yeah, but her escape is that wall. Yes, so your E okay. always goes to this wall. Because then she okay. has no counterplay. Yeah, yeah. And then here, you can just... So your Q gives you extra range, so you could just Q her here. Okay. Um, or you could W. Um, I mean, ulting's fine, but she did just use her stun, which you could have seen, should have seen. And then you would know you don't need to ult. Okay, kiting, kiting, good. Yeah, Q is ass. Oh, close. Q. Ah, so now, so this is what like we really want you to like fix. This is like number one like mechanical team fight Camille thing we need you to fix. Okay. Make sure like you should be bridging your Q to your Q one to E to Q two. But notice here, you do Q1, Q2's not ready yet. And then you E in. And now it's ready. Okay. Because it's like there needs to be no gap in between for them to do anything. You hit them with the E and it stuns them, Q2's ready, there's no counterplay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so like that, that guy almost lived just because of that. Because you're in no rush to use your E uh, when they're like when they're close like that. You you can easily just take the one second to wait for Q2 to be ready and then go in and f and use it. Yeah, that makes sense. I see what you're trying to go for here. Yeah, I thought I could pop the Varus. I don't, I don't know if I could or not, but it, either way, it didn't work. It, it, no, I think it was a good try. I think it was a perfectly uh, good try. Nah, this is some grief ass shit. Scuttle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a little lost here. The, the macro is not my strong suit. Okay, good kiting here. Okay, okay. So here, there was a. This is like. This was a huge opening. Um. So they used all. They're trying to kite away. Now look. Uh, going to Varus? Yeah, you just or E just here. Of them back there? Jump in. You could ult the. Because like, you can ult Syndra and it'll push Varus back into everybody. Mm -hmm. Kill the Syndra. You can ult Syndra and it, that could turn into you killing Syndra, Silas, and then. Then Varus, like, this is just a huge opening for you to go in. That's like, you need to not be afraid if they're all clumped up and they're low HP because if you E in and then ult, it pushes them away and then you can just kill the one person that you ulted, like, instantly. Because okay. since they're low. Um, and they're next to the walls. 
that's like yep. another that's a like pretty important part here. If they're like in the middle of the lane, it's different because then what happened here with Varus could happen. But they're next to the wall, so there's no escape. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, then I go in on like a yeah. It doesn't pan out well. So like here on the Silas, to get that Silas, all you had to do was E this tower, walk up like two steps, E the tower, and then while you're uh traveling with the E, press W and go towards Silas and you would reach him. Mm. But you did uh, it on the probably wall. Probably pop him and Syndra too. Mm -hmm. You get them both. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit more advanced and it'll take a little bit of practice to do. Like you get the timing down on the E and the W, but. Okay, and then you guys went cool. Oh. oh, you actually just tried to do that thing I was just talking about. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think that's a lot of good uh, stuff that we went over. Um, yeah. The most important thing, honestly, was the fundamentals of the laning phase, though. Like. That. Yeah, yeah. Because that, no matter how good you are, Camille, like you, you could take the best Camille player in the world. It, they. That doesn't change that Camille can't fight Shen in a wave, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, fundamentals first, then the Camille stuff we talked about. Non-committal trades, using Q and W to trade in lane, using auto-Q every time you use Q. Um, and then the whole, like, using your R or your E to bridge your Q1 and Q2 together. Mm-hmm. Lane. Sorry, just piping... Okay. All right. Good stuff, man. Um, yeah. Uh, everything makes sense that we went over. Do you have any questions on anything? Uh, no, no. It, it all made a lot of sense. Um, I didn't even realize how much with my E I was I was wasting it uh, until we you know sat there and watched it. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, just kind of let the fundamentals slip with the offense and defense. That was definitely a big thing, too. Yep, and then, oh, and actually, uh, another really important part that, that we shouldn't, uh, so, uh, the mental part. Remember your Camille. No reason to be stressed out, like the map's falling apart, like, see? Like, that for 7 and Ovaris, was he anything compared to what you were? You were a fucking raid boss that had insane mobility, insane sustain, true damage, couldn't be caught, like... But he's sitting there, like, shooting a bow and arrow. Like, you see, it's just, like, you're not comparable. Like, no one can out-carry Camille if the Camille plays right. Okay. So. Good stuff. All right, man. Well, uh, that should be everything then. Um, you can always, like, send me shit, like Camille plays, to ask me mm -hmm. if, like, you, you used your E right or whatever, used your alt right. Um, and, uh. You can also message me with any questions in general. I've, I think I've told you this before. I can't remember. Fuck, my brain is just on overload. Um, yep. No, no, no. No, I've uh, I've asked you some stuff, and you've gotten back to me. Okay, cool. And let me know. Okay, cool. Um, and like I said, uh, because you did this on stream, I'm down to give, like, I'm down to do, like, free VOD review or, you know, just whenever. If you if, pick a game, like, play, you can just redeem it at any time. Just uh, when you find a game that, like, okay, I need to know what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. Like, hit me up, and we'll go over it. All right. All right, cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Um, well, that's everything. Good luck, brother. Uh, have a good night. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time you get a session. All right. Thanks for your time, man. No have problem.